Hey, we're Russ and Soul, and you're listening to us on the Subject Press. Hi, I'm Billy, the music team leader for the Subject Press, and tonight our musical and very talented guests are the members of a really cool, awesome rock band, Russ's Soul. How are y'all doing tonight? Good. Hey, great. Doing great. Oh, it's good to hear us. Now, I know we're on a three-hour time difference. You are in Atlanta, Georgia, correct? Yes. Okay, and this would normally have been your uh, rehearsal time, but you're not, uh, you're missing a member, so you're not doing the rehearsal tonight. Is that also correct? So I'm not really interrupting anything, right? No, he's on his way, but he'll be here sometime soon. He's oh, just stuck in. Oh, you're still planning rehearsal tonight? Right. Oh, okay, okay. Well, now let's start off with, um, if, since we have uh, the whole band members right now on speaker on their end. So if we could start off with maybe having everybody introduce themselves individually and tell what they do in the band. This way it kind of helps, you know, any listeners pick out, you know, who's talking in the conversation. All right. My, my name is Fred, and I'm vocals. I'm John. I play guitar. I'm Jenny. I play bass. And I'm Kyle, and I play guitar. And Joe, he plays drums, but he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, because Joe being late, we actually get to do the interview now, so that's good. And we're not interrupting anything. So tell me about your band. Tell me about Rusted Soul. I've been listening to uh, your music off and on for a little while now since I first started talking with uh, with Fred a while back. And um, I really like the sound. I do like the music. I love that rock sound. And I really like the way you guys have a nice blend. You, you have a, a nice way of being able to kind of go in from that melodic sound into that hard rock sound. You know, so, you, you know, and I just really like the way everything has been, everything that I've been hearing anyway. Can you tell us, you know, how you guys came together? Oh, uh, well, we're, we're really kind of a motley crew. Uh, the band reformed. Um, we had to get rid of some uh, some problem children in the band, um, alcoholics and uh, and whatnot. Anyway, we had to. We had to reform, so we, we've all been together now um, for about John and I and Jen for about eight years. Yeah, mostly. I've been with the band for about eight years. John's about seven. And then Kyle is brand new, and Joe, the drummer, he's about a, no, two about years now? Almost two years. Yeah, almost two years. Oh, okay. So you actually got a good mix in there where you have some members that have been there for a while, and you guys have... So you know how each other play when you've been there for a while. But with the new members, are you still kind of like feeling that way through? Yeah, yeah. With Kyle, Kyle, Kyle was a was a perfect fit. We just, we just, uh, well, he stumbled upon us, and it just, uh, <laughs> it he fit. Let me in. He was on the fit. It took a long time. You know, we we went through uh, several about five, five or six people. Mm-hmm. But uh, he he was the one. We all just kind of. <clears throat> You know, it's kind of kind of like a big family from the start. Yeah. Never. Awesome. And now, when you guys do your songwriting and stuff like that, is it also like that family approach where everybody kind of pitches in on that, or is it like uh, one or two of you mainly that like write are the lyric writers, you know, um, in the band and stuff? How do you guys do your collaboration with that when you come together for your for the you know the lyrics and the music? Well, it's usually just somebody will come up with a riff. That, that's what it is for me. I, I I write the lyrics most of the time, or yeah, all the time. All the, <laughs> all the time. But, um, it's usually the the riff where it comes from for me. So whoever comes up with the riff, um, you know, pretty much just starts a song. Yeah. And then by the time they're you know figuring out their parts of the song and writing the song, then I'm done with the lyrics and then we're done. Nice, nice. So pretty much it's like a whole collaboration and everybody kind of pitches nice in on you know. So that's nice. So I mean, I know some places, you know, they kind of like somebody works on one, another person works on the other, and then they come together later. So I always like to find out what the process is for, you know, for that band because everybody has a little different process. You know? Right. So no. Now, I mean, for you guys, I mean, I do love the fact that there is a female in your band, and I just wanted to know as far as, for you guys, do you feel like there's a different influence upon that? Because usually you don't get – you either get either all female or all male uh, as far as in the rock genre. You don't get so much of that mix as you do like it's in the hip-hop world and that type of stuff. When it comes to rock, it's usually all or one or the other, you know. So do you find that mm-hmm. you have a nice influence with that, just having the female influence in the band? 
Yeah, she just uh, she just kicks more ass than most. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she gives a hell on stage, and she just uh, it's she 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 plays her part very well. And for you, Miss Fowler, how is it like being pretty much and you know surrounded by all testosterone all the time? <laughs> <laughs> no, these guys are they're, they're really cool. Um they're my brothers and uh I don't know, we're just all family and uh it's just uh I don't know, we play well together. So so we all feed off of one another, that's for sure. Nice. Now, for this one here, you have for your uh, album that you guys have out right now, vice versa. Now, tell me about that. Like, let me know, um, like, you know when it, is that something that, you know, has been released for a while? Is it a new release? It's, it's been released for a while. We um we kind of re-released uh, the first CD, kind of remastered. Uh-huh. Um, and then we uh, we released one, uh, Shades of Grey, um, and now we're working on our third album, an acoustic album. We're going oh. into 18th. We're going into the studio the 18th. Nice, nice. And what is the name of that one? Do you have a name for that yet? A title for that Breaking yet? Change, Breaking Change is going to be the new album. Oh, nice, nice. And when do you think that'll be available? Um, well, we just started uh, rec- uh, putting tracks down at the studio, so we've we've got a little while until it comes out. But it's going to be awesome when it does. Yeah, and we're going to release a few songs. We're going to we're going to release a few songs every couple of months. Oh, okay. Until the whole album is finished. So we'll go into the studio this Saturday. We'll get through at least a couple of songs, and then we'll release them probably by the end of the month. Oh, okay. Nice. Very nice. So, and um, and now that's going to be at the end of the month here. Are you guys going to be going on any tours to help promote that? Well, we hope so. We've got, a, we've got some stuff in the works now to do a um, uh, just a, a – a tour of the surrounding states, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, um, and Tennessee. So, okay. probably. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> well, that Lots of stories, isn't it? <laughs> Definitely to go out there and tour, you know, and promote that, you know, so that sounds great. Yeah, we're looking yeah, for a label. That's what, that's what we need. We need a, we're looking for a label and uh, a booking agent or agency. Oh. Oh, okay. Now, you heard that. If any labels out there or booking agents out there are looking to pick up a really cool melodic rock band, just look for Rusted Soul. Right? There you go. Right. Yes. And where, now, where, wait, wait. Where could they find you at? Where's all your social media sites? Where could they actually find you at? You can uh, find us on Facebook at uh, Rusted Soul Atlanta, and we're on Twitter at Rusted Soul ATL. Or you can just Google search Rusted Soul and all of our media comes up. Yeah, and all your music comes up. I like that, you know. I like that um, looking through your EPK pack that you have available, that all your music is in one spot, you know, to look through all of that and find it all in one area. I love that. And I also noticed and I also saw that you guys have a lot of um, a lot of hits in the best of. Um, like, example, like you reached, I saw that you reached, uh, sixth place in the Best of Rock chart of 2017, and that you were in the top 20 for 25 weeks. So, I mean, congratulations right. on that. I saw that you hit a Thank lot you. of those. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah we, we actually uh, we won uh, in the rock category once, but uh, something happened to the website, and they lost it. Oh, no. Well, but, sometimes yeah, that happens, thank you. you know, and you just got to redo everything. Right. Uh, but, you know, hey, you know, sometimes it happens. But, you know, it's fantastic that you guys actually hit all that. I thought that was pretty amazing. You guys did that like a good five, six different times in different in different uh, areas and in, with different with top ten and the best of, you know. So that's fantastic. You guys seem to have a really nice streak going there. Thank you. Keep that up. <laughs> now, tell us about yourself. I mean, tell us something about um, Rusted Soul that you want your fans out there to know. Just that we're real. We make real music. Um, we're trying to bring the real back because it's I don't, I don't know where it went. But uh, we're just uh, we work hard, man, and we and we have great music, and we want to share it with everyone. 
Oh, yeah, definitely. I like to think of us as a melodic musical group with excellent storytelling. I mean, the way Fred writes his lyrics are just great stories. And, you know, musically, we try to complement that. And, you know, that's how we're writing our stuff. You know, the, the riff comes and then Fred just writes down the lyrics and it flows so well. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it, it does. It really does. I really love the sound. Like I said, I've been listening off and on, like, um, like say, just for example, Through the Darkness. You know, I love the way that it sounds, the way it starts off in that very low melodic sound, very nice melody, you know, and then it really starts to pick up. And even like, you know, and it just goes into that faster, you know, percussion sound, you know, so it's really nice. And I do love just the rough sounding voice because it just kind of adds to everything, you know, so I, I totally agree. I think all of that just blends really nice. And again, you guys have a nice uh, progression of the way you blend your sound. You know, so I mean, it shows that you guys have a good collaboration. You can tell when you said that some of you worked together for eight years. You can tell, you know. So it's right. And and Fred, Fred and I have known each other since high school. Oh, so you've known each other a really long time, then. That's good. Have you been like long long time. Time together since high school? Um, no. You know, I mean, it's it's funny because you know we were friends in high school, and then after high school, we just kind of lost touch with each other, and. You know, about nine years ago, he or well, seven years ago, we just ran into each other, and he's like, "Hey, are you looking for a band? We need a guitar player." And I'm like, "Sure." And oh, wow. that was that. That was that. Yeah. You know, I, I went over to his over to his place, jammed out with him, and was offered a position in the band, and I took it. Nice. Well, some people are meant to come back into your life, you know. So that's yeah. fantastic. That's a nice little story. Now, where do you plan to go from here, though? Like, what's your next show from here? Uh, what, what's our next show? Yeah, we're, we're playing December 1st at, uh, in, Co- in Covington. Oh, okay, okay. And where is this at? Go ahead and promote your show so people know where to catch you at. Yeah, it's uh, the 5 o'clock sports, uh, sports bar. Yeah, 5 o'clock sports in bar. Covington, Georgia. Covington. Mm-hmm. And what time are you going to go on? Uh, nine. Nine, nine o'clock. Okay. Nine. Yeah, we'll be playing uh, three sets, um, an hour apiece. So we play until about one o'clock. All right. Well, you heard him out there. So anybody listening out there in Georgia, um, now where was this again? Name the city again for me. It's Covington. Covington. Covington, okay, Covington. at the five o'clock, uh, five o'clock sports bar. Okay, so anybody out their way, make sure to go catch Rusted Soul. Now tell us, um, what are your influences? You guys have a lot of um, influences that you feel are predominant when you're writing or playing music. Definitely. Yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> and we're, we're all pretty different, too. Yeah. Which is good, and especially in the writing, because we can kind of pull from everywhere. Because I, I, I grew up listening to... I'm, I'm country, so I, I grew up listening to bluegrass and country gospel, and and then oh, you know rock, old old '80s rock and stuff like that. We're all pretty different, though. But that's but that's nice, though. I mean, you know, as far as um, you know, having a, a bunch of different backgrounds to be able to pull yeah. people from different backgrounds, so that's really cool. Yeah, I'm I'm an '80s radio child. Yeah, so am I. So am I. I'm I'm very much, you know, eighties, nineties child, you know, so I still listen to the old you know, old music from then and you know, I can't help it. You know, I love a lot of the new music and that's one of the best things about this job is you get to meet and hear a lot of great artists that I might not have come across had I not had this type of job in the first place, you know. So yeah. and I really liked hearing about you guys and I did like listening to all your music and studying up on everything because I really was able to get into the sound and find out a lot about you and I really liked it, you know, so I definitely will have you added on my playlist for sure. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's definitely right up my genre. I love that. You know, I love the sound. And immediately I felt, I, you know, grasped into the, the voice really, to me, I love that raspy kind of like rough voice when it comes to rock music. You know, so I feel it just has a really nice blend and add to it. So I was just instantly like, oh, I love the sound. Oh, I love his voice. You know, and then just listening to the blend, it was like, oh, I love this. You know, I, I love that you have such a nice 
mix, you know, and it's not all one or the other. So for listeners out there, make sure to check them out. Go to their site. Um, you know, check out everything that they've been doing. The music is fantastic. I, you know, trust me, if you love rock, you're going to love listening to them. You're going to love listening to Rusted Soul. And make sure to go catch them whenever you can, you know, and support your local artists out there because they do a lot to bring entertainment to us. Now, is there anything that you guys would maybe like to add, something, you know, a shout-out you want to give to anybody? Um. Oh, no. Let Billy Studios. We'll see you guys the 18th. <laughs> there you go. Yep. <laughs> They're coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So watch out for them. Now, one of the things I do like to ask artists at the end of an interview pretty much is, you know, as far as for anybody else that is trying to do what you do, trying to get into the music field, you know, um, What would you say for artists that are out there struggling, haven't had an album out yet, and are trying, and where you have now succeeded in that part, and you have, you know, you're out there making that music and kind of living that dream of yours, what would you say to them? Never stop. Come in and just say no. (laughs) (laughs) Be patient. (laughs) My best advice would be to be patient. Wait yeah. for the right opportunity. Yeah. Wait for the right band member. Right. I about to say, find people that you mesh with. Don't rush. Yeah. Don't settle. Yeah, because chemistry is everything. <laughs> Make sure to stay committed to your music. You know, don't... Uh, um, and always be prompt. <laughs> <laughs> just, no, you can blow just that. walk yeah. in the door. <laughs> 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 It really is good sound advice, you know, because it, it is hard to to do what you do. You know, I know um, you don't wake up and it's just done. It takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of effort. And um, you're right, like Jennifer said, mesh well, you know, because if you don't mesh well, it will show in whatever art you are trying to accomplish if you are not meshing with the group that's trying to accomplish that together. So I, that's really sound advice. And being patient, that's so hard. <laughs> but that is it, is. it is. It is. But it's worth it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because in the end, if you if you can do that and, and be patient and find the right group and the right set of people for yourself and for your sound, then it's something that you can succeed in. And, and I think that's fantastic. Thank you so much, everybody. I really do appreciate you the time mm-hmm. out to speak with us and to let us know more about your band and about Rusted Soul, you know, and your influences. And, you know, just so we have a little bit more information and where we can find you at, you know, so... I appreciate that. You took the time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.